everyone, this is Spartan CC bringing you a Castle Clash video today. Um, Happy New Year's. Uh, we just got a new update today, uh, but this uh, video isn't about the update. It's about um, a line of defense, um, which comes out every, I don't know, it feels like it's about every month or so. It's this little thing that's next to the um, to the bazaar. It's, it kind of has a countdown, so right now it's at six days, so it's, it's active for a whole week. Um, and in here, I'll show you what, what you do, but there's basically three different challenges. They all get harder. Um, and the rewards, you can actually get these chests, and then you can do it every day. So you can do it basically seven times while this event is going on. Um, and they, they've given the same reward, I think, for almost the whole time. You get Braille Fox Soul Stones, and you get Tidal Badges, or whatever they're called, and these higher ones give you more. Um, in my experience, it takes two line of defense if you do it every single day and you do and you complete every single round to actually get a full Burial Fox. Um, this is actually how I got Burial Fox. I didn't roll him. Um, I just got him from this. So it's a free Burial Fox if you do it enough. Uh, so let's get into it. So you're going to come into challenge. It's going to ask you to choose up to 10 heroes. Um, so, you know, you just kind of choose 10 uh, what you kind of want to focus on is you want stunning heroes. Um, you don't need to heal. So actually, I don't know why I have Walla Walla in there, because you don't need any heals. You mostly just want um, heroes that can stun. Um, so that's probably what you're looking for mostly. Um, honestly, even... Uh, let's see. We still want the Oracle hero. No. 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 Well, I only need nine, so it's fine. Um, so, like, I'm going to use Levanica, Lazu. Um, you, you want a lot of damage output, because um, there is going to be waves of heroes. Uh, so I always use Cosmo and Braille Fox, uh, things that, people that have, like, really long range are really good, so I'm using Axe Punisher as well. Uh, so we're just going to start. This first one's really easy. Like, I'm pretty sure someone that just barely started the game could do it. So you kind of want your heroes next to it, because... They will attack these heroes that are coming out. You can put the range heroes, like, pretty far away and make sure they have Empower on them. And then I have Athene, actually, which gives all my heroes extra energy, so they're procking more often, which is what you want. And so basically, the heroes come out of here. There's different waves up at the top. You can see the little purple eye. And you basically don't want them to get to this red spot. So you have 20 lives, as you can see up in the top left. Each hero that gets through all, all the way over here counts as one. So you could potentially get 19 heroes through there and still beat this one. Um, so it's it's pretty easy. You can deploy six heroes, so I think that's six. Yeah, I can't deploy any more. Um, but this one's really easy. I mean, like, these guys have, like, no health. They die, like, instantly. So there's that. Make sure you come and collect your little chest, and then we'll do the next one. Uh, you can also see right here what they do. So, like, they can move really fast. They're, like, really good, basically. Uh, the first two are, like, really easy. Like, I never have any troubles with the first two. Um, but the last one's where it kind of gets kind of ugly. So you just kind of put your, your hero... You don't have to put them this far away, but you'll see why in the third round. Uh, so as you can see, this one, you have less, less lives, and the heroes are a little bit harder, as you can see. They're getting a little bit farther than the first ones. I mean, they still kind of die, like, right out, the, right out of the gate. But... Um, so on the last one, the heroes actually have effects. So, like, some of them, when they walk by your heroes, they'll drain their energy. So that's kind of why you want some of these heroes in the back, so that they're not always getting drained energy. Um, they never do any damage, though. They'll just um, drain energy. That's probably the worst one. And there's also boss ones that will come that uh, have a ton of life, and they count as two hearts. So you'll see on the last one, you only have five hearts, and each boss counts as two. So as you can see, that one is really easy. Um... So we'll get into this one, uh, the very last one. And you kind of want it, so now, now they come from two sides, so you kind of want to guard both of them with someone and kind of put these guys over here, and then I usually put a thing over here. So you'll have them coming out of both ends, right? So these ones, as you can see, are a lot harder. They have a lot more life. Um, so you want heroes that are going to stun them so that they can't get... So this Juggernaut, you'll see, he'll come out here. Uh, here he is. So as you can see, we probably won't kill him because you, you kind of need heroes that do damage-based percent. So that's why I had Young Spark in here. But even so, it's only going to take down two of my lives. As you can see, now I'm at three out of five in the top left. 
Um, and it, it'll usually spawn only one more. So here's here's the last one. So as long as you kill all the other heroes, um, it only spawns two of these big guys. So even if you can't kill both of the big guys, it doesn't matter. You'll still win. Um, so as you can see, that one wasn't too bad. You just kind of have to stun them. Oh, actually, I killed that one. Great. So as you can see, victory... And we get all three of the chests. The chests, once you click on them, they just go into here, and you can open them up. Um, so it's pretty simple. You just kind of want heroes that will stun them so that they stop moving. And then you just want a lot of damage output. Um, it, like I said, it gets harder when they have, like, energy reduction effects and stuff on the heroes, because then it gets pretty hard to stop them. Um, but, yeah, you just want a lot of damage, a lot of stuns. So, you know, Cosmo, Braille Fox are really good for for this one and Axe Punisher because they can just stay at the very back, kill everything before it even gets to them. That's what you really want. So yeah, go out there, get your Brio Foxes, everyone. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome day.